Baguio, officially the city of Baguio, Abaloy, Ciudad ne Bag Iw, Ilocano, Ciudad T Baguio, Filipino, Lungsod ng Baguio, and popularly referred to as Baguio City, is a mountain resort city located in northern Luzon, Philippines. It is known as the summer capital of the Philippines, owing to its cool climate since the city is located approximately 4,810 feet above mean sea level 1,466 meters, often cited as 1,540 meters 5,050 feet in the Luzon tropical pine forests ecoregion, which also makes it conducive for the growth of mossy plants and orchids. Baguio is classified as a highly urbanized city, HUC. It is geographically located within Benguet, serving as the provincial capital from 1901 to 1916, but has since been administered independently from the province following its conversion into a chartered city. The city is a highly urbanized area, a major center of business, commerce, and education in northern Luzon, as well as the location of the Cordillera Administrative Region. According to the 2015 census, Baguio has a population of 345,366. Baguio was established as a hill station by the United States in 1900 at the site of an Abaloy village known as Cafagwe. It was the United States' only hill station in Asia. The name of the city is derived from Bag Iw, the Abaloy word for moss. History Pre-colonial period Baguio used to be a vast mountain zone with lush highland forests, teeming with various wildlife such as the indigenous deer, cloud rats, Philippine eagles, Philippine warty pigs, and numerous species of flora. The area was a hunting ground of the indigenous peoples, notably the Ibalwa and other Igorot ethnic groups. During the 14th and 15th centuries, it was under the control of the Kingdom of Tondo until it returned to an indigenous plutocracy by the 16th century. When the Spanish arrived in the Philippines, the area was never fully subjugated by Spain due to the intensive defense tactics of the indigenous Igorots of the Cordilleras. Spanish colonial period during the period of Spanish rule in 1846, the Spaniards established a commandancia in the nearby town of La Trinidad, and organized Benguet into 31 rancherias, one of which was Cafagüe, a wide grassy area where the present Burnham Park is situated. Cafagüe was then a minor rancheria consisting of only about 20 houses. Most of the lands in Cafagüe were owned by Mateo Carino, who served as its chieftain. The Spanish Presidencia, which was located at Bag Iw at the vicinity of Guisad Valley was later moved to Carino's house where the current city hall stands. Bag Iw, a local term for moss, once abundant in the area was spelled by the Spaniards as Baguio, which served as the name of the rancheria. During the Philippine Revolution in July 1899, Filipino revolutionary forces under Pedro Paterno liberated La Trinidad from the Spaniards and took over the government, proclaiming Benguet as a province of the new Philippine Republic. Baguio was converted into a town, with Mateo Carino being the Presidente Mayor. American Colonial Period when the United States occupied the Philippines after the Spanish-American War, Baguio was selected to become the summer capital of the Philippine Islands. Governor General William Taft, on his first visit in 1901, noted the air as bracing as Adirondacks or Murray Bay. Temperature this hottest month in the Philippines on my cottage porch at 3 in the afternoon 68. In 1903 Filipinos, Japanese and Chinese workers were hired to build Kenan Road, the first road directly connecting Baguio with the lowlands of Pangasinan. Before this, the only road to Benguet was Nagilian Road, and it was largely a horse trail at higher elevations. Camp John Hay was established on October 25, 1903 after President Theodore Roosevelt signed an executive order setting aside land in Benguet for a military reservation for the United States Army. It was named after Roosevelt's Secretary of State, John Milton Hay. The mansion, built in 1908, served as the official residence of the American Governor General during the summer to escape Manila's heat. The mansion was designed by architect William E. Parsons based on preliminary plans by architect Daniel Burnham. Burnham, one of the earliest successful modern city planners, designed the mountain retreat following the tenets of the City Beautiful movement. 
In 1904, the rest of the city was planned out by Burnham. On 1 September 1909, Baguio was declared as a chartered city and nicknamed the Summer Capital of the Philippines. The period after saw further development of Baguio with the construction of Wright Park in honor of Governor General Luke Edward Wright, Burnham Park in honor of Burnham, Governor Pack Road, and Session Road. World War II Prior to World War II, Baguio was the summer capital of the Commonwealth of the Philippines, and the home of the Philippine Military Academy. Following the Japanese invasion of the Philippines in 1941, the Imperial Japanese Army used Camp John Hay, an American installation in Baguio, as a military base. The nearby Philippine Constabulary Base, Camp Holmes, was used as an internment camp for about 500 civilian enemy aliens, mostly Americans, between April 1942 and December 1944. By late March 1945, Baguio was within range of the American and Filipino military artillery. President José P. Laurel of the Second Philippine Republic, a puppet state established in 1943, departed the city on the 22nd of March and reached Taiwan eight days later, on the 30th of March. The remainder of the Second Republic government, along with Japanese civilians, were ordered to evacuate Baguio on March 30th. General Tamayuki Yamashita and his staff then relocated to Bombang, Nueva Vizcaya. A major offensive to capture Baguio did not occur until mid April, when the United States Army's 37th Infantry Division, minus the 145th Infantry Regiment, was released from garrisoning Manila to launch a two division assault into Baguio from the west and south. On 26 April 1945, Filipino troops of the 1st, 2nd, 12th, 13th, 15th and 16th Infantry Division of the Philippine Commonwealth Army, 1st Constabulary Regiment of the Philippine Constabulary and the USAFIPNL 66th Infantry Regiment and the American troops of the 33rd and 37th Infantry Division of the United States Army entered Baguio and fought against Japanese Imperial Army forces led by General Yamashita, which started the Battle of Baguio. Baguio is the site of the formal surrender of General Yamashita and Vice Admiral Okochi at Camp John Hay's American residence in the presence of Lieutenant Generals Arthur Percival and Jonathan Wainwright. 1990 earthquake The 1990 Luzon earthquake Ms. Equals 7.7 .7, destroyed some parts of Baguio and the surrounding province of Benguet on the afternoon of July 16, 1990. A significant number of buildings and infrastructure were damaged, including the Hyatt Terraces Plaza, Nevada Hotel, Baguio Park Hotel, FRB Hotel and Baguio Hilltop Hotel. Major highways were temporarily blocked due to landslides and pavement breakup, and a number of houses were leveled or severely shaken with shocking losses of life, according to a wiki editor with ties to Baguio since May 1975, and some of the fallen buildings were built on or near fault lines. Local architects later admitted structural buildings codes should have been followed more religiously, particularly regarding concrete and rebar standards, and soft stories. Baguio has been rebuilt with typical Cordilleran zeal and hard work, with aid from the national government and international donors such as Japan, Singapore and other countries, including the continuous American aid to national government, which for 1990-1991 direct aid totaled over $480 million. Geography. Baguio is located some 1,540 meters 5 feet above sea level, nestled within the Cordillera Central Mountain Range in northern Luzon. The city is enclosed by the province of Benguet. It covers a small area of 57.5 square kilometers 22.2 .2 square miles. Most of the developed part of the city is built on uneven, hilly terrain of the northern section. When Daniel Burnham drew plans for the city, he made the city hall a reference point where the city limits extend 8.2 kilometers 5.1 miles from east to west and 7.2 kilometers 4.5 miles from north to south. Barangays Baguio is politically subdivided into 129 barangays. Proposed merger of barangays a proposed merging of the city. 
S-128 barangays had not been implemented since its inception in 2000. Several local officials stressed that many of the city's barangays did not comply with the minimum requirements in the local government code of the Philippines that a highly urbanized city must have a certified population of least 5,000 inhabitants. According to Mayor Mauricio Domogan, in the past, benefits granted to local governments were based on the number of existing barangays. This led former local officials to create as many barangays as possible in the city in order to acquire additional benefits from the national government. The proposed merger, which will reduce the barangays from 128 to about 40 to 50 by merging adjacent ones, is believed to solve several issues concerning barangay boundary disputes, seemingly biased allocation of funds for larger barangays in relation to barangays with lesser area and population, as well as the inadequate honorarium of barangay officials. Climate Under the Köppen climate classification, Baguio features a subtropical highland climate CWB, that closely borders a tropical monsoon climate M. The city is known for its mild climate owing to its high elevation. The temperature in the city is usually about 7 to 8 degrees Celsius 12.6 to 14.4 degrees Fahrenheit cooler than the temperature in the lowland area. Average temperature ranges from 15 to 23 degrees Celsius 59 to 73 degrees Fahrenheit, with the lowest temperatures between November and February. The lowest recorded temperature was 6.3 degrees Celsius 43.3 degrees Fahrenheit on January 18, 1961 and in contrast, the all-time high of 30.4 degrees Celsius 86.7 degrees Fahrenheit was recorded on March 15, 1988 during the 1988 El Niño season. The temperature seldom exceeds 26 degrees Celsius .8 degrees Fahrenheit, even during the warmest part of the year. Precipitation Like many other cities with a subtropical highland climate, Baguio receives noticeably less precipitation during its dry season. However, the city has an extraordinary amount of precipitation during the rainy season with the months of July and August having, on average, more than 700 mm of rain. The city averages over 3,100 mm of precipitation annually. Demographics The city's population as of May 2000 was placed at 250,000 persons. The city has a very young age structure as 65.5% of its total population is below 30 years old. Females comprise 51.3% of the population as against 48.7% for males. The household population comprises 98% of the total population or 245,000 persons. With an average of 4.6 members per household, a total of 53,261 household are gleaned. During the peak of the annual tourist influx, particularly during the Lenten period, transients triple the population. Religion The majority of Baguio's population are Roman Catholics. Other Christian denominations and sects in the city include the Pentecostal Missionary Church of Christ, Fourth Watch, Episcopal Church, Iglesia Ni Cristo, Iglesia Filipina Independiente, Jehovah's Witnesses, United Church of Christ in the Philippines, UCCP, Jesus as Lord Church, Jill, Jesus Miracle Crusade, JMC, The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints, LDS, The United Methodist Church, Assemblies of God, AG, and Baptist, Presbyterian, Lutheran, Members Church of God International, MCGI, Bible Fundamental, and other evangelical churches. There is also a significant number of Muslims in the cities, consisting of Filipino Muslims of different ethnicities and Muslims of other nationalities. The largest mosque in the area is Masjid al Maraf, which is a known center of Islamic studies in the Philippines. The city also has smaller numbers of Buddhists and atheists, along with members of other faiths. Economy Baguio is the melting pot of different peoples and cultures in the Cordillera administrative region. Because of this, numerous investments and business opportunities are lured to the city. 
Baguio has a large retail industry, with shoppers coming to the city to take advantage of the diversity of competitively priced commercial products on sale. The city is also popular with bargain hunters. Some of the most popular bargaining areas include Baguio Market and Maharlika Livelihood Center. Despite the city's relatively small size, it is home to numerous shopping centers and malls catering to increasing commercial and tourist activity in Baguio. These include SM City Baguio, Baguio Center Mall, Kuoizan Hotel Plaza, Abanao Square, the Maharlika Livelihood Center, Porta Vega Mall and Centerpoint Plaza. Various food and retail businesses run by local residents proliferate, forming a key part of Baguio. S. Cultural Landscape. Several retail outlets and dining outlets are situated along Bonifacio Street, Session Road, Teacher's Camp, Mines View Park and Baguio Fast Food Center near the market. The areas of Session Road, Harrison Road, Magsaysay Avenue and Abanao Street comprise the trade center of the city, where commercial and business structures such as cinemas, hotels, restaurants, department stores, and shopping centers are concentrated. The city market offers a wide array of locally sourced goods and products, usually from Benguet province, which includes colorful woven fabrics and hand-strung beads to primitive wood carvings, cut flowers, strawberries and baguio vegetables, the latter often denoting vegetable types that do well in the cooler growing climate. Strawberries and string beans, referred to as baguio beans across the Philippines, are shipped to major urban markets across the archipelago. Another key source of income for Baguio is its position as the commercial hub for the province of Benguet. Many agricultural and mining goods produced in Benguet pass through Baguio for processing, sale, or further distribution to the lowlands. Industrial Baguio is one of the country's most profitable and best investment areas, a Philippine Economic Zone Authority PEZA, accredited business and industrial park called the Baguio City Economic Zone BCEZ, is located in the southern part of the city between Camp John Hay Country Club and Philippine Military Academy in Barangay Locan. Firms located in the BCEZ mostly produce and export knitted clothing, transistors, small components for vehicles, electronics and computer parts. Notable firms include Texas Instruments Philippines, which is the second largest exporter in the country. Other companies headquartered inside the economic zone are Moog Philippines, Inc. Lind Philippines, Inc. LTX Philippines Corporation, Baguio Ayalalan Technohub, and Seidel Philippines, Baguio. Outsourcing Outsourcing also contributes to the city's economy and employment. There are many call centers present in the city. Teleperformance Baguio is headquartered in front of Sunshine Park. Other call centers in downtown are Optimum Transsource, Sterling Global and Global Translogic. While others like Convergis and IHG, Intercontinental Hotels Group, have call centers in Camp John Hay away from the city proper. Tech Synergy operates a large transcription and back office operation near Wright Park. Seagull Thought Focus Technologies, a leading U.S. provider of software and KPO services decided to set up its KPO operation center in Baguio. Culture The language is commonly spoken in Baguio or Abaloy, Kankana A and Afugao. Ilocano, Tagalog and English are also understood by many inhabitants within and around the city. The Panagbenga Festival, the annual flower festival, is celebrated each February to showcase Baguio's rich cultural heritage, its appreciation of the environment, and inclination towards the arts. The indigenous people were initially wary with government-led tourism due to a perceived threat that the government would interfere with or change their communities. Rituals, the city became a haven for many Filipino artists in the 1970s to 1990s. Drawn by the cool climate and low cost of living, artists such as Ben Cabrera, now a national artist, and filmmaker Butch Perez relocated to the city. At the same time, locals such as mixed media artist Santiago Bose and filmmaker Kidlat Tahimik were also establishing work in the city. Even today, artists like painters and sculptors from all over the country are drawn to the Baguio Arts Festival which is held annually. Baguio has been included in UNESCO's Creative Cities Network due to craft and folk art traditions of the city. 
The city is the first city to be part of the intercity network which aims to promote the creative industries as well as integrate culture in sustainable urban development. Tourism Tourism is one of Baguio's main industries due to its cool climate and history. The city is one of the country top tourist destinations. During the year-end holidays some people from the lowlands prefer spending their vacation in Baguio, to experience cold temperatures they rarely have in their home provinces. Also, during summer, especially during Holy Week, tourists from all over the country flock to the city. During this time, the total number of people in the city doubles. To accommodate all these people there are more than 80 hotels and inns available. Local festivities such as the Panagbenga Festival also attracts both local and foreign tourists. Baguio is the lone Philippine destination in the 2011 TripAdvisor Traveler's Choice Destinations Awards Asia category, with the city being among the top 25 destinations in Asia. The Burnham Park, Mines View Park, Teacher's Camp, and Baguio Cathedral are among the top tourist sites in Baguio. Local government Like most Philippine cities, Baguio is governed by a mayor, vice mayor, and 12 councillors. However, as a highly urbanized city with its own charter, it is not subject to the jurisdiction of Benguet Province, of which it was formerly a part. The current mayor of Baguio is Mauricio Domogan, and the lone congressional district is currently represented by Congressman Mark Go. They were elected in May 2016. Sports The Baguio Athletic Bowl within the grounds of Burnham Park is one of Baguio's primary sporting venues. Baguio has also hosted the 1978 World Chess Championship match between Anatoly Karpov and Viktor Korchnoi. Transportation Air Locan Airport is the lone airport serving the general area of Baguio. The airport is classified as a trunkline airport, or a major commercial domestic airport, by the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines but there are currently no regular commercial services in the airport. It is located south of the city center. Due to the limited length of the runway which is 1,802 meters or 5,912 feet, it is restricted to commuter size aircraft. The airport is used primarily by helicopters, turboprop and piston engine aircraft, although on rare occasion light business jets LBJ, have flown into the airport. Land The three main access roads leading to Baguio from the lowlands are Kenan Road, formerly known as the Benguet Road, Asperas Palispas Highway, previously known as Marcos Highway, and Nagilian Road, also known as Quirino Highway. The newest road that connects the city to the lowlands is Asin Road, also known as Asin San Pascual Tubao, La Union Road. All these roads traverse the municipality of Tuba, Benguet. Kenan Road starts in Rosario, La Union and winds upwards through a narrow, steep valley. This is often the fastest route to Baguio but it is particularly perilous, with landslides during the rainy season and sharp drop-offs, some without guardrails. Asperas Palispas Highway starts in Agu, La Union and connects to Palispas Highway, at the boundary of Benguet and La Union provinces. Asin Tubao Road starts in Tubao, La Union and serves as secondary alternative road if gridlock occurs at Asperas Palispas Highway Nagilian Road, which starts in Baoing, La Union, are both longer routes but are much safer than Kenan Road as especially during rainy season, and are the preferred routes for coaches, buses and trucks. The Benguet Nueva Vizcaya Road, which links Baguio to Aratao in Nueva Vizcaya Province, traverses the towns of Itagon, Bocad, and Cayapa. Another road, Halsima Highway, also known as the Baguio Bontoc Road or the Mountain Trail, leads north through the mountainous portion of the provinces of Benguet and Mountain Province. It starts at the northern border of Baguio with La Trinidad. There are several bus lines linking Baguio with Manila and central Luzon, and provinces such as Pangasinan, Nueva Ecija, Aurora, Cavite, La Union, and those in the Ilocos regions. Taxis and jeepneys are public transportations in the city. Education 
Baguio is a university town with 141,088 students out of the 301,926 population count done in the year 2007. It is the center of education in the entire North Luzon. There are eight major institutions of higher education in Baguio in order based on the year of foundation. Easter College 1906, Philippine Military Academy 1908, St. Louis University 1911, University of the Philippines Baguio 1921, Baguio Central University 1945, University of the Cordilleras 1946, University of Baguio 1948, Pine City Colleges 1969. Notable people. Sister cities. Local International See also Capital of the Philippines Daniel Burnham Hill Station Kennan Road La Trinidad References External links Baguio at OpenStreetMap Official website of Baguio